Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be talking about seven historic moments that changed Canada's history. We will start with Decade 7, and I will be talking about the Avro era. Let's begin. On October 4th, 1957, the Avro era was introduced during the Cold War, when tension between North America and the Soviet Union was growing, creating a large chance of North America getting bombed. See, this was crazy. Anyway, Canada increased its military and air force, hence the design of the Aero. An all-weather nuclear interceptor meant to fly higher and faster than any other known aircraft. Crazy! A company named Avro took on the project. When the plane was first revealed to an audience of 12,000 people, they were taken back by its sharpness and beauty. Yet, Oh, so you know, you think the plane was gonna be like all cool and stuff and be like the new thing. No, because when the Soviet Union created the first human satellite, the arrow started to become a downfall. And soon it got cancelled by the Prime Minister Stephen Baker before it could even enter the military. All evidence of the planes were destroyed and more than 14,000 highly skilled people lost their jobs. So how did it affect Canada? It helped Canada become a world leader in scientific research and development. That's pretty sweet. But it still had a devastating effect on Canada, aerospace industry. A number of the top engineers left Canada to work in Britain, and some left for the United States to work with NASA. So how did it affect the rest of the world? Both the United States and Britain wanted to buy the arrows from Canada, yet Canada refused. Also, A.V. Rose, the president of Avro, tried to find a foreign buyer to take on the project of the Avro aeroplane, but the task was too ambitious and expensive, so nobody wanted to do it. And yeah, that's all about the Avro aeroplane.